Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Make sure to stay until the end of the video where I have a bonus problem that is similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. So we have x to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 25. Now, the first thing is if we have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, we have 5 to the power of x plus 25. We can think of a as 5 here, m as x, and n as 25. So now we have 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 25 equal to 5 to the power of x. So now we have x to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 25. Now if I divide both sides by 5 to the power of x, these two cancel out, and I'll have x to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 25. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, x to the power of x over 5 to the power of x, that's going to equal x over 5 to the power of x, which is equal to 5 to the power of 25. Now, if I take the power of 1 over 5 on both sides, I get x over 5 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 to the power of 1 over 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So for x over 5 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 5, that is going to equal x over 5 to the power of x times 1 over 5. Now, this is equal to 5 to the power of 25 to the power of 1 over 5. That's going to equal 5 to the power of 25 times 1 over 5. Now x times 1 over 5 is simply x over 5, so I have x over 5 to the power of x over 5 is equal to 5, 25 times 1 over 5 is simply 5. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b as long as b is greater than or equal to 1. And in this case, b is 5, which is greater than or equal to 1, meaning a is equal to b. So in this case, a is x over 5 and b is 5. So I have x over 5 is equal to 5. Now, to simplify this, I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. So now, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 5 times 5 is 25. Now, to check, our original equation was x to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 25. Now we know that x is equal to 25. So now if I plug in 25 for x, I get 25 to the power of 25 is equal to 5 to the power of 25 plus 25. Now 25 plus 25 is 50, so now 25 to the power of 25 is equal to 5 to the power of 50. Now 25 here, this is the same thing as 5 squared. So now I'm going to replace 25 with 5 squared, so now 5 squared to the power of 25 is equal to 5 to the power of 50. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. 
So 5 to the power of 2 to the power of 25, that would equal 5 to the power of 2 times 25. So equal to 5 to the power of 50, 2 times 25 is 50, so I have 5 to the power of 50 is equal to 5 to the power of 50. And because this is right, our solution is right. And make sure to stand to the end of the video where I have a bonus problem that is similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so we have x to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of 200. Now for our solution, so we start with x to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of 200. Now 200, this is equal to 2 times 100. So I'm going to replace 2 times 100 with 200, so now I have x to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of 2 times 100. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. And the same thing goes vice versa. If I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, a is equal to 10, m is equal to 2, and n is equal to 100. So this would equal x to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 100. Now, we can simplify this into parentheses. 10 to the power of 2 is simply 10 times 10, which is 100. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 100 to the power of 100. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b as long as b is greater than or equal to 1. In this case, b is equal to 100, which is greater than or equal to 1, meaning x is equal to 100. Now, to check, I have x to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of 200. Now, x is equal to 100. So now I have 100 to the power of 100 is equal to 10 to the power of 200. Now, 100 is the same as 10 squared. So now I have 10 squared to the power of 100 is equal to 10 to the power of 200. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 100, that equal 10 to the power of 2 times 100. So you go 10 to the power of 200. 2 times 100 is 200, so I have 10 to the power of 200 is equal to 10 to the power of 200. Because this is right, our solution is right as well.